In case you're just joining us, I'm talking with local artist Judy Bradford. I had to put on one of her hats during the break because, Judy, I am <laughs> in love with these hats. Oh, that looks great on you, too. Those little Thank feathers you. bounce around. <laughs> the little you. feathers down there. <laughs> well, your hat is fabulous, too. How did you get into the hat-making business, Judy? Well, it was funny. A friend of mine um, was at the Cairns Festival in Australia, and he, there was a uh, photo exhibit called Man versus Fascinator. These little fascinator hats um, are kind of a British... Um, the British started them. Mm -hmm. And it was a photo exhibit of very serious portraits of all different kinds of men wearing these silly little hats. And it was, you know, it was great. It was interesting and well-crafted. And But then, as I was looking at the exhibit, I was thinking, boy, I bet it's fun to make these little hats. Mm -hmm. And I got into it. I've always had some kind of a needlework sideline going. I've always done, you know, stitching work of some sort. Mm -hmm. So it seemed like a natural for me. And mm -hmm. sure enough, I love working in this scale. I love working with these uh, materials, all these precious little antique buttons and, oh, and fascinating it. ribbons. Mm -hmm. And um, the feathers, most of the feathers that I use are Key West rooster feathers. Really? And I get them from the Wildlife Center, mm -hmm. um, all humanely collected. Right. <laughs> So this but is a little taste of Key West then. The and then I curl things. them and cut these little um, patterns into them and things mm -hmm. like that. Well, they are yeah. just great. So now, do you, do you start from scratch then with the hats? They're all my designs. Mm -hmm. I design the pattern, make the pattern, and then make the hats from the patterns. Mm -hmm. This is my new, and the one you're uh, wearing is the same shape. This is the steampunk top hat. Mm -hmm. This is new for this, this year. This was the cap. This was the first um, full pattern that I designed. Prior to that, I was making these little ones that are on little straw rounds that, mm -hmm. you know, stay on with a comb and kind of get ornamented. But then I got into the fabric hats. A little bit. Okay, and now these are called Judy's Cocktail Hats. That's what we call them. <laughs> That's what you call them. <laughs> so have you ever created larger ones, or are these the sizes that you stick with? They're all this size. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I like working in this scale. And, you know, they're just a cute little stylish accessory. Mm -hmm. and they're wonderful. Uh, they're the accessory that everybody is missing, I think, Judy. <laughs> and it's amazing. I call them magic hats now. Mm -hmm. Magic hats. Okay. Uh, something magic happens when you're wearing a hat. Mm -hmm. people, people smile when they see you. And, you, you know, you expect women to appreciate a hat. But men, too. I've been riding down the street on my bicycle, and a guy in a pickup truck rolls down his window and yells, Hey, nice hat! <laughs> <laughs> so the guys like them, too, Judy. The guys <laughs> seem to be delighted mm -hmm. by them. Do you make men's hats? Uh, I've had that request a lot, along with, do you make dogs' hats? <laughs> uh, <that's laughs> and right. I can. Mm -hmm. And I have made a couple. Um, the dogs like to wear them more than the men. The men like the hats. They appreciate the, the quality and they appreciate the whimsy, but usually they're a little too self-conscious to wear something of this sort. <laughs> <laughs> Rightfully so. Maybe all the feathers and the little buttons might throw them Sometimes off. Sometimes you run into somebody who can pull it off. Mm -hmm. And I have some great photos of uh, some of the guys wearing hats. Let's talk about some of the women who wear your hats. I mean, is this made for anyone in particular or just anyone? Uh, it covers a pretty good range. Uh, some of the burlesque girls uh, mm -hmm. will wear them, and uh, and I was originally think I originally had them in mind mm -hmm. when I started making the hats because uh, you know we have we have a growing burlesque troupe. We have two troops right. in town, and uh, but then I. I sell them mostly at events. I'll just set up a little hat table. Mm -hmm. And um, people started wanting to wear them to weddings. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes people will bring their what they're wearing to the wedding over. And then I'll put together a hat that will go with it. Mm -hmm. um, and they're great for parties mm -hmm. and luncheons mm -hmm. and things like that. So people who are into a social life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it will be perfect for them. Yeah. How and long does it take to construct a hat? Well, the answer to that is each one takes a lifetime mm -hmm. <laughs> because it always builds. 
and it depends a lot. You know, there's a lot of, um, especially when you're dealing with feathers and fabric, there's a lot of folding and trial and error mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. that uh, goes into it. So, and most of the hats take a lot of forethought. Mm -hmm. So you have to factor that in too. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of, you know, you're, you're always thinking about what the next one's going to be right. like. So and there's a lot of that. And a lot of heart goes into each and every oh, yeah. uh, duty. And like I say, I really enjoy working in this size and these uh, materials. Mm -hmm. Well, they are just, they're beautiful. I love them. <laughs> I want to take more after the show. And if anybody has any questions about it, I know they can contact you by email. You can see the email address on the bottom of the That's screen. Right. They can also give Judy a call and hopefully pick up your very own fascinator hat. Yes, mm -hmm. I have lots of them. Have lots of them. <laughs> Judy, thank you for being on <laughs> the show with me this morning. This is great. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick break, but I'll be right back after this commercial break. <laughs> 